I'm a English scholar at the Department of Commerce, Bahad and Nikita University. And this paper is a part of my PhD thesis under the supervision of uh, Dr. Masood al uh, from the Department of Commerce. And my professional engagement is with the Pakistan Military Commerce Department, Mutam. Uh, so I'm uh, here to uh, present my paper about the role of innovative climate uh, between the relationship of open innovation and the innovative performance. Uh, the reason to select this uh, topic was that uh, in 2015, a uh, study was conducted in the southern Punjab, particularly in the Multan city. They studied almost 15 SMEs uh, and then find out the, their outcome uh, results so that uh, uh, somehow the SMEs are practicing the open innovation uh, in their uh, business practices for the development of their products and the services, but they are not aware uh, with this concept what the open innovation is this. When we ask them, uh, are you doing open innovation, they said no. When we, uh, when we will explain them, uh, this is basically the, uh, uh, you, are you are innovating your product with the help of the external information, they, say, they said yes, this is the backbone of our uh, economy, uh, this is the blood of uh, our business and we are doing it. So, developing, particularly developing countries uh, like Pakistan, they must have to embarrass the openness, technology, innovation, and the investment in the innovation and the innovation related uh, projects is highly essential as much as important for the SMEs like the infrastructure uh, for a country for the, uh, as a basic requirement. Uh, similarly, the Vision 2025 of the Pakistan has also aimed to uh, build a knowledge based economy with the help of promoting the ICTs in the countries and definitely Pakistan has the ability to create a knowledge-based economy with the help of it. The vision also emphasized to promote and nurture the resources at our level uh, with the uh, proper uh, cooperation of the academia and the industrial resources at our level. So there is a need uh, that we must, uh, we must uh, make aware the entrepreneurs about the facts of the innovation in the process, uh, whatever they are going to constitute uh, in their business practices. Sorry, I got forgot. Sorry. So, so the organization needs uh, environmental variables uh, uh, which can uh, help out uh, in order to overcome, to find out the uh, address the object of the policy, restructure, to acquire the balance between the stability, the uh, change at all level of the organization. Knowledge creation is basically the key parameter in the open innovation. When, when we talk about the open innovation, this is based upon the uh, information acquired from your external stakeholders. This is basic, uh, idea was presented in 2003 by Henry Chesbro. He said uh, uh, this, is, uh, yeah, uh, this topic is basically going to break the syndrome of uh, energetic syndrome. What is the energetic syndrome is not invented here. I have to uh, develop this product, I have to uh, make this information as a uh, the part of my strategy. Uh, is this from my institution? This is okay. If this is not from my institution, so it is not acceptable. The open innovation basically break this syndrome. They said that the external information uh, should be the part of your uh, product development strategy. So uh, the next is uh, the theoretical framework. Uh, organizational structure, uh, entrepreneurial organization, info and information communication, technology, exogenous variables, uh, knowledge uh, management, open innovation are basically the mediators, uh, innovative climate is the moderator and finally uh, there is the outcome of uh, all this uh, study is the innovative performance of the uh, SME. So uh, here is the uh, methodology, uh, non productive purposes sampling was applied. Uh, I used uh, the analysis uh, tool uh, Smart PLS and I recall recommended the minimum sample of 207. I have your like, collected sample of 228 SME uh, selected for the, finally selected for the data analysis technique. So here are the results, here you can see that the knowledge management are the exogenous variable, uh, EO, ICTs, uh, organizations are the positively uh, related, positively and significantly it can be related with the knowledge management, they uh, contribute in the knowledge development, uh, knowledge creation for the SME and the, uh, that knowledge creation is utilized in the open innovation practices of the organization. The open innovation basically results in the innovative performance of the country and the innovative climate of the, uh, the SMEs basically moderate and strengthen the relationship 
relationship between the open innovation and the innovative performance of the countries. That's the mission. So here the uh, mediation that I have used uh, here the various accounted for. You can say in the first three hypotheses, the VF score is uh, uh, between 20 to uh, uh, 50. It means there is a partial variation. Partial variation means that uh, the independent variable uh, may have its effect in the presence of the variator variable as well. Uh, and in the last hypothesis, the VAF is a uh, 79.67 that is approximately equal to 80 percent it means there is a uh, full variation and in case of the full variation the independent variables uh, loss is impact in the presence of the mediator so uh, the finally uh, next paper is about the moderator effect uh, about the innovative alignment between open innovation and innovative practices here the uh, interaction effect was 1.147 which affects the 0.49 so uh, here is the uh, uh, picture from the software generated uh, with, uh, results. So here is the result. Uh, what are the recommendations? Uh, what the, uh, this uh, can study contributes for, for the SLEs in you know, This will help to improve the knowledge, uh, basically to strengthen the uh, Vision 2025 objective to build a knowledge based economy in the country. How you can create the knowledge with the entrepreneurial innovation, their proactiveness, their risk taking attitude uh, with the help of the feasible and the supportive organizational structures with the utilization of the information and communication technology. Okay. Here, uh, uh, beside this, uh, when I was in the Faisalabad uh, and I met uh, software development uh, developers and when I asked him uh, about this uh, uh, this particular uh, question, he said that without the help of, he was basically led to the ICT uh, sector, uh, technology sector, he said that without the help of external information, I cannot proceed. At any stage, I have to seek the information for the development of number products. Okay. So uh, this study can uh, uh, help to boost up the dynamic capabilities of the organizational change, management practices, the creation, promotion and sharing of the knowledge uh, in the research development software. It will also help to solve the uh, problems of uh, lack of skilled labor, lack of the quality management practices, infrastructure of man manufacturing firms in the Pakistan. Particularly for the SME, uh, this will be helpful to uh, uh, resolve uh, the problem of their lack of the cost uh, as well as. This uh, study will also help uh, to nurture the resources at all of uh, will help to create uh, a proper linkage between the academia and the industry, how the academia can support uh, uh, for the SMEs and how what are the SMEs are basically uh, taking out from the academia. Uh, this will also be helpful to, uh, for the management to set up uh, and exploit the technological and knowledge related issues of their SMEs world as well. So the managers, uh, SME managers uh, can, uh, build, uh, build, uh, can network uh, in their innovation strategy with the optimization combination between their external and the internal knowledge as well. Here in this study I have used the Nonica model uh, of uh, knowledge creation SECI, socialization, externalization, commercialization and internalization. So basically the internal external knowledge is acquired that is uh, make the part of the strategy and that is uh, this internal knowledge will be part of the internal knowledge and uh, further exploit and share with the uh, customer as well. This will uh, help to promote the sustainable uh, engagement of the organization and stable the efficient uh, deployment of the resources uh, and promote the economic development within the clusters uh, by improving the competitive of the designated particular uh, business sectors. Uh, in my study, mostly in medium sector uh, uh, organizations uh, agreed they are doing, but uh, small and the micro organizations they were not involved in, in this uh, practices or uh, open innovation. <coughs> This study can be helpful to strengthen the regional infrastructure and also enhance the board drive of the knowledge inflows and the open innovation practices and the effective support in mentoring and scale building in the area. So, thanks.
global innovation and how policies can be devised to encourage the small and medium enterprise to adopt open innovation for uh, performance improvement. Um, we have uh, there listened to the four presentation here, and all these four presentation focused on different aspects of policy. Uh, the first began with the policy itself, with the evaluation of the policy. Uh, the second was the, the effect of the common facilities created uh, and how the organization, the SME, can uh, take advantage of it. Uh, the, th uh, the third paper was on the uh, sustainable uh, development and the values of environmental protection or environmental improvement in the SME sector. And finally, was the open innovation. I would request the uh, before I uh, let the house open for discussion and question and answer, Ma, I would uh, request that the question should be focused to the papers uh, and be, uh, be very focused and brief so that we can have as many questions as, as possible. Um, uh, I would request the uh, presenters to please and also please point out to whom your question is addressed uh, so that you have a, uh, a right answer. And to the presenter, please uh, take the questions because you can answer the question at the end. We'll take up all the questions first. <laughs>